Hey everyone, and welcome once again to Aisha's Scrum Tech YouTube channel. We are super, super excited to have you all um, for our second collaboration video um, on Azure DevOps. So again, this is a collaboration video between Aisha Scrum Tech and Agile Compass Consulting. So last week we did a video on how to create a project on ADO. And this week we're going to be looking at a preview of the project board, right? From a Scrum Master perspective. All right. So on the left-hand side here, um, I'm just going to jump right straight into it. On the left-hand side here, we have overview. And below overview, we have summary, dashboards, and wiki. So for summary, is basically what we're seeing on the screen. And um, this particular project does not have much going on. So we're not able to see a lot of information there. But if we did, you're going to see a lot of the summary on this project, the project statistics on your right hand here, and then the members that are, all the members that are on this project board, right? All right, the next item here is dashboard. This is a big one for Scrum Masters. Um, you want to be able to set up a dashboard that has your metrics um, for your teams so that you're able to send a report into stakeholders, right? So when I talk of metrics here, we're talking about velocity chat, um, your sprint health check. Uh, we're talking about lead time, cycle time, whatever metrics that you know works for the project you're working on or the information that you would like to see. This is where you can go add your widget and then you know get it going for you. All right, the next item here is the wiki. So wiki is a big one. So this is like a documentation space for Azure DevOps, right? For those who use Jira, we know that 90 plus percent of the time, Confluence is the documentation space, right? For Jira. <clears throat> um, but for Azure DevOps, it is wiki. So this is where you go to create a documentation. For every Scrum Master, I will highly encourage you to have a space for your team where you all have your documentation. So you know where um, every member in the team knows where to find what, right? So some examples of documentation that you can have on your team space might be things like your working agreement, information about the project that you know would benefit your team or new team members that join your team. You're gonna to want to have definition of done, definition of ready, and any other important documentation that you like your teams to have, right? Um, so that's where you're gonna store those information. We'll would definitely do another video um, to break down all of these different options that we are seeing in more details and how and the how, right? How you get it done. All right, the next item here is boards, but I'm gonna come to boards later because this is the heart of, as a Scrum Master, this is the heart of where you spend most of your time, right? Um, of course, when it comes to planning, um, evaluating your progress, making sure everything is going good, it's all on this board, right? All right, the next item here is repository. So the repository is where, um, you know, the codes are being hosted, right? So this is where developers actually get their coding going. Um, and the good part of the repository is that it is linked directly to the um, Azure DevOps board for the project. So what happens is that once your developer picks up a ticket that is assigned to them, right, um, they are able to create a private branch, right, that they will now start creating their codes. And once they create their codes and they're completed with the creation, they do a pull request so they can have someone to review the codes for them, right? So once the peer review is completed, what happens is that the code is now good to be merged to the main branch. So um, all of that process happens in the repository. So many other things go on there, but this is just a brief summary of what happens in the repository. All right, so the next item here is pipeline. So the um of course when we do our development of course it needs it needs to be tested and needs to be deployed because at the end of the day our customers need it right so the pipeline is where automated testing happens um and also you know the codes that are being created they get 
they can they get tested and then they get packaged so that they are able to be deployed. So all of that happens in the pipeline in summary. So a lot of other things happen here, but that's what pipeline there is for. And then test plans. So for test plans, this is basically where all testing happens, right? So testing goes on here in the test plan, mostly manual testing, UAT testing, and all of that. So this is where that happens. Um, and of course, uh, when it comes to progress reporting from QA and all of that, you know, this is where they do that. All right, the next thing here is artifacts. Um, artifacts mostly will deal with, um, it's like an area where the developers go in there and, you know, are able to share, it enables uh, developers to share their codes, right? Either among themselves or other members in the organization or in the public. So this is where that happens in summary. All right, let's go back to the board. So on the boards here, you have work items. So the first um, thing here, of course, this is where we're gonna have a lot of our work items, right? And then um, if you see here, you can, this is recently updated. If you wanna see recently updated items, this is where you click and you see them. Um, if you wanna create work, new work items, this is where you create new work items open queries. Of course, we're not going to get into the details of that yet. We'll do separate videos to address those. And then for boards, <clears throat> this is where you have um, the board view or Kanban view of your tickets <clears throat> on the board. And um, of course, if you want to do a backlog view, you click on view as backlog and it's going to show you the backlog view, which is the very next thing on our board right here. All right, on the backlog view, of course, you have all your PBIs in one place, all your product backlog items on this spot right here. And then you have analytics. Analytics, we're gonna see analytics down here, but um, you know, analytics is basically also like a reporting side for your um for some metrics. So um I think analytics is you know powered by Power BI, some um uh tool that helps with um, reporting metrics as well, automatically reports metrics as well. All right, so you have a um, new work item. You can also create your tickets here. Um, in Azure DevOps, new work item is like, you know, creating a user story, right? So you can do that there. And then you can view as a board and you take you back one step up to see the board view and all of that. And then for the backlog, um, backlog items, you know, you have features, you have backlogs, you have epics, whatever it is that you need to add to that, you can view them over there. All right, let's go to the next thing here, sprint. So sprint is a big one. This is where you will see your sprint after sprint work that you've committed for, um, for in your sprint. So the task board will be all the tasks that you have on your board. So this is a little bit tricky because in Jira, for example, we don't have a separate task board, right? But on Azure DevOps, we have task board. And the reason why it's a little bit different is because Azure DevOps will track on your burn down chat hours versus the days in the spring. So you put the hours on that the separate task, right? So now you're able to see only your tasks that you have and you can easily tell if your tasks have hours or do not have hours. I know that's a different conversation because we don't um, you know, encourage hours in, in Scrum, uh, but Azure DevOps tool is very special in that. So um, yeah, um, for the backlog, <clears throat> this is gonna be all the tickets that we have in that sprint, it will be showing in a backlog view, right? Um, capacity, of course, we have a capacity planning, planner on Azure DevOps. So this helps with that. And you can get people's time in and all of that good stuff. We'll do separate videos to go into details. And then I just talked about analytics as well. And when you're on your dashboard, you can add users. And the good thing with Azure DevOps is that if you have any other items that you would like to see on your Scrum board, such as your Sprint Go, you can definitely go to Marketplace and add them on, right? So a lot of times you can make this work for you as you would like it. So the way that my view my view on this Azure DevOps board might not be the same with each and everybody's view based on how you've customized it for to work for you, right? So um, that's a, one of the good things about Azure DevOps. You can always customize it to work for you. <clears throat> All right, so queries. So this is a big one for Azure DevOps. 
um, even for Jira as well. So Azure DevOps, we can write your queries to be able to pull data that you want to see, right? So this is where you can go to do that. And then delivery plans, of course, our stakeholders love, love, love delivery plans because they want to be able to see, okay, when are we expecting, right? When are we expecting that this can be delivered based on, um, you know, how much work that our developers are able to get done? So this is where we can go in and create delivery plans for our epics and features and whatever thing <clears throat> that we would like to report on the delivery right here. We'll do a separate video for that as well. All right, we already talked about analytics. And yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Super, super excited to share this. We will be going to more details to flesh out stuff uh, for easy understanding. So thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you watching this video. Um, so we appreciate you watching this video. If you want to join our program, we do offer mentorship program for those who are looking to join, um, change careers and be a scrum master. We also offer a uh, level two, you know, sessions where we train new scrum masters and level three, where we mentor um, scrum masters working on their job. So please do well to reach out at, um, admin at aishascrumtech.com and we will be more than happy to help you. So thank you once again and hope you have a blessed day. Bye.